Hi, this is a tutorial on how to run XChat for Windows. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys just uh, what you simply need to know to be able to get this to work. Okay, first thing you want to do is uh, when you open up XChat for the first time, you're going to be getting this window appearing. This window is the XChat network list. Now, since you're trying to get on to uh, live.perillo.com, you're going to hit the add button. Then you're going to enter in something like us.wild, w-y-l-d, ride, r-y-d-e, dot org. Then you're going to hit edit. Uh, from here, hit edit again. That's going to allow you to edit uh, what server you're going to use for us.wildride.org. So we're going to go with, again, us.wild, w-y-l-d, ride, r-y-d-e, dot org. And this is going to uh, then, basically, the moment you log on for the first time, it will... Uh, tell you the best uh, server for you to use based on your location. It'll find that out and set everything up for you. Now, the one thing you want to make sure that you have unchecked is use a proxy server. Now, the reason you want to have this unchecked is because, well, a few things. One, they do not like you using proxy servers, and two, well, yeah, that's all you really need to know is that they don't like you using proxy servers and they will ban you for 30 days if you do use one. Uh, now, as you can probably see, there are five lines down here. Those we're going to deal with in uh, just a minute, but we need to do uh, a few other things first. Okay, so now that we have that all set up, then we want to choose a nickname. Now. For our purposes, I'm going to use a completely different nickname because, well, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to go with Fred and Beans. So now that we have Fred and Beans, we're going to hit Connect. Now, it's going to take a moment to connect, and then this window is going to come up. It's the Connection Complete window. This window should appear the first one or, one or two times that you connect to an IRC server until you actually click the, uh, until you uncheck the always show this dialog after connection. Uh, you have three options. You can either do nothing, and that will just bring you to the main channel, and will require you to uh, choose your channel manually. You can choose a chan channel here, or you can open up a channel list. Now, for a smaller IRC server, that's wonderful. It allows you to be able to look, but if you're de dealing with something like Wild Ride or Freenode or any of the really big ones, it's just going to be an incredibly long list, and it's going to be daunting. So we're going to go with nothing. I'll join a channel later. Click OK. And now if you see... Uh, the things that are appearing here now are just simple things like uh, by connect uh, by connecting and retain uh, and retaining a connection to any part of the Wild Ride IRC network. Uh, you state that you have read, understand, and hereby agree to comply and accept the Wild Ride IRC TOS disclaimers and rules stated in the document. Now, one of the things you got to understand is that if you go on to Wild Ride and you don't follow the rules, you're going to get kicked. You might get a temporary ban. You might get a permanent ban. It's just, you know, there are certain things you need to remember. Okay. Now, one of the things uh, you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to register Nick. Now, the reason I've taken so long explaining all of the other stuff is because to register a Nick on Wild Ride, you have to spend uh, at least 120 seconds on the server before they will allow you to register Nick. So to register Nick, you hit slash ns space register. Uh, then you're going to enter in a password. So password and then you're going to enter it in an email address. And then hit enter. It registers and then it's going to add a plus R 
to your name. Now, the plus R only indicates that it's a registered nickname, which is going to allow you to do certain things you can't do as an unregistered user, and there are some channels that require you to ha be a registered user to be able to speak in them. Okay, now that we have that all set up, I'm going to show you guys uh, what you can do with those uh, with those lines I was telling you about. So we're going to go back into our network list, hit edit again, and now you can uh, set up a few things. If you want to join channels automatically when you come on, you can type in here pound sign and then the name of the channel. So pound sign Chris, for instance. That's going to have you join Chris Perillo's channel. And then also, if you remember, when you registered, you entered in a password. That's your Nixer password. And if you, so if you enter in password, that's just the one I used. Yours hopefully is different. That's going to make it so that every time you log in now, you don't have to identify. Because otherwise, I'm going to show you what happens when you have to identify. changed it now let's change back okay so now as you can see uh, messages come up uh, saying that your nickname is registered and protected if it is your nickname type and then just type slash n s identify and then the password so password in this case then immediately it says password accepted and then it's going to change your status to the plus r again until you actually identify you will not have your registered status again and unfortunately if you don't identify within a minute you're going to have to uh rechange your pa uh your nick back to whatever nick you have and then identify again to change your nick manually you'll just hit slash nick and then whatever nickname you want to have